Oh, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? Ubisoft has made another boo-boo, and I mean, holy crap, what is going on in gaming right now? Do not do this crap to GTSX, that's the only game I don't want this crap done to. Like this video if you think there are two genders, dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders, because you guys see, we have the BBC Samurai situation, right? And the BBC fires are raging, has been raging for a minute now, and every time we have news about Assassin's Creed, it's like somehow some way worse than before and for how many months the situation has been going i lost count quite frankly but apparently somehow ubisoft made it even worse and uh, this is something that we're going to be talking about in just a little bit this is how ubisoft was back in 2007 now in 20 it is progressive this is from 2014 so i mean do you want to see the picture of 2024 because this is from 2014, right? You feel what I'm saying? But we're just gonna get right into it. Shout out to the homie Asmongold. There's another clip I wanna play for Ubisoft you. Ubisoft executive it. says Assassin's Creed Shadows devs think it's the worst thing they've ever seen. Bullshit. Bullshit. Where is it? Are we really gonna believe this is true? After how many other Ubisoft lies have come out recently? Where's the article? It's the what? Ubisoft's executive producer shared that a number... Wait, what? Wait, I think it might be... No! Say the game psych. is shit until it's good. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed... The game is shit till it's uh, shit? What? What? Since the pandemic is that we have a lot of juniors uh, in juniors? Our, uh, our team. And probably half the team that's building an Assassin's Creed is building a game for the first, uh, for the first time. So they don't know. No! So you have Say for psych. the first... Probably half the team that's building an Assassin's Creed is building a game for the first uh, for the first time, so they don't know. So you have to ex say psych, oh, shit. Oh. say psych right now. This is me right now. This is me. We looking like this. Where's my non-existent? This is this is why my non-existent is a non-existing dog likes to bite people, bro. What the hell? What the hell? I, I guess this explains, this explains. Explain to them that even though they're playing the game right now and they think it's the worst thing they've ever seen. This interview was three weeks ago. Ah, well, the game was supposed ah, to ship three days ago. I didn't think it was real, but this is, he said this on stage. I don't know what to say. You need to go play Star Wars. Brother laughing, brother smiling. <laughs> Brother, why? Brother, brother laughing. Ubisoft. Guys, I read this comment and I quote, You guys, Yasuke might have been a real assassin after all. The best one at that too, he said. Homie managed to assassinate not just a franchise, but a multi-billion dollar corporation. <laughs> Star Wars Outlaws. Past performance is a very good indicator for future performance. And I think that things are not performing very well. One of the uh, things that was written is like, a game is shit until it's shit. Ubisoft is- The game is shit until shit. <laughs> I know what he said, but I'm joking around. Shout out to the homie Andy Pants. Check this roll. Probably half the team that's building Assassin's Creed is building a game for the first time. <laughs> Bro, is that good? Even though they're playing the game right now and they think it's the worst thing they've ever seen. <laughs> What's going on, guys? So we know that Assassin's Creed Shadows is done. Stick a fork in it. It's pro possibly going to be uh, one of the worst launches we've ever seen in a game. But guys, the seeds for this were sown long ago. And as I talked about four weeks ago in an interview with an Ubisoft insider, they started pushing their DEI practices as early as 2011. Mm. And this is the rotten fruit of what we're getting. This is how you have ridiculous things like these woke idiots forcing a black samurai into a game in a non-historical way where this guy was never uh, there. Yeah. He, he was not a samurai. And they're literally just forcing him into the game at this point. And on the right here is a meme that I made uh, that's going semi-viral on Twitter right now. It, it, guys, it's really, it's really as ridiculous as saying, "Hey, uh, a white guy visited Africa in 1625. Uh, let's make Assassin's Creed Africa based around a person who visited it one time." That is exactly what's going on here with the uh, uh, with the samurai and Assassin's Bro. Creed shadows. Bro, so, um, guys, everybody's really disappointed chill. with this game. Chill. Except for this guy, um, Mark Alexis Cote, or however you say this loser's name. It's a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's Cote. It's uh, Alexis Cote. Ah, oui, I see. I bet they don't know. I can't listen to that burning club. Pas comme ça là. Hey là, hey là. Oh, hey. And y'all, this this guy is just a pro at corporate word speak and word salad. And I just want to, <laughs> y'all. I guarantee you, as soon as Assassin's Creed Shadows comes out, I guarantee you this guy is losing his job because 
Um, and, I, and I think uh, Yves Germont, the CEO, is kind of trying to direct all the blame towards this guy because this is just ridiculous. But let's read a couple of his incoherent, insane quotes. I believe that the answer to hate is to continue to creating experiences that celebrate the richness of our world and capture the magic of our collective imagination. <laughs> Yeah, well, what type of magic though? Hey, man, listen, man. I don't know what kind of magic you guys be talking about. First of all, guys, got a cat. Needs a name. Serious suggestions only. Okay? That's like... <laughs> don't say Dixon. Don't say Dixon, man. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, that shit, man. Uh, but that's, a, that's a cute cat, man. That's a cute cat, though. So I gotta be real, but... Uh, dude, are, are you really celebrating the richness of our world? when you uh, exclude Asians from your Damn. game? Damn, When homie. you specifically take out an Asian character and blackwash your game? This is, this is probably what they meant by celebrating the richness of our world. They meant mocking Christ. They meant mocking religion because, you know, they're right there in Paris. The Paris Olympics was where they mocked religion and they mocked Christ. Guys, it's mm -hmm. not about celebrating the richness of our world. These people are pedophiles and they're push pushing satanic pedophilia with the LGBTQ mafia that's behind them. Um, but but furthermore, if they were celebrating the richness of our world, why would they have a program that excludes men? I thought we were celebrating everyone. Or are we not? Uh, you're only celebrating fifty percent of the population if you're if you're uh, uh, having a mentorship pro program that's. Open. And you cannot spell mentorship program without men in it, bro. <laughs> Ubisoft inclusive mentorship program that excludes men. <laughs> Yo, these seconds are crazy, bro. Holy crap, bro. What the hell, man? Damn. And, and you... Uh, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. And they have the audacity to make Yasuke, the real-life Yasuke, LGTV as well, bro. When he was not. When he was not. If he was in real life, that makes sense. We talked about it a billion times. But, like... And, and look at that. Damn. Everybody's like... Sh what? Homie just displaced himself and then he salute? He bowed down? What the hell? So, look at that. Look at that. My guy moon dance. Oh, he moon dance, and then he's like, you know, he did that. Damn, yo, everybody's like scared. Everybody's like scared. Damn, he making a lot of noise while he walks. I mean, like, let's be real. He's probably like 300 pounds easy minimum, right? Damn, he's like built up, right? He built up. He should have been in WWE to be honest, man. Yasuke would have annihilated everybody in WWE. To be fair, though, you know. Yeah, Jake Paul should fight Yasuke for real. The only men. Um, I wanted to pull up a, a, a diversity website that they have in which they're just celebrating everybody. Here's the, here's uh, Ubisoft's DEI department and their employee resource group. They have an Asian and Pacific Islanders group, uh, black employees at Ubisoft group, several groups. Um, but I couldn't find a group for men? Europeans for some European reason. Okay. I couldn't find a group for Christians. So it really seems like we're about celebrating. And, and also as a brown man where is my representation where where is my representation as a brown man i'm sick and tired of everybody playing the race card man i'm sick and tired damn it i'm sick and tired man where is my representation at though yeah man i i demand my representation man i demand my rep I, I demand my reputation yeah yeah man rating our friends not necessarily celebrating the richness of the world. This guy is uh, overlooking the obvious. Um, the game, uh, uh, I don't even need to pull up the dislikes. The like to dislike ratio on, uh, ratio on the Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer was absurd. It was like uh, uh, 100,000 upvotes to 500,000 downvotes. Um, but your game is dog shit and it's gonna fail at launch and nobody wants to play it. Damn. But let's read another incoherent quote uh, that he said. At the end of the day, Assassin's Creed is not just a franchise. It's a platform for entertainment mm. Dialogue. dialogue discovery and understanding <laughs> oh my gosh I, I was i was immediately thinking of like me and other gamer bros uh, like me being like bro hang on i need to get on my playstation so i can uh, uh have a platform for entertainment dialogue discovery and understanding Toxic like, gamers. Uh, j just turning on my device turning on my empathy and understanding device so i can become a more well-rounded person um Dude, he doesn't seem to understand why people play video games at all. None of us want to experience this slop. None of us yeah, want facts. to see this satanic dog shit in our video games. I see this stuff enough in real life. I don't want to Yo, see it in a video whoa, game. Whoa, whoa. It actually will cancel and we won't buy any game that has chill. this stuff. Um, chill, chill, tranquilo papi. Tranquilo. But guys, do you know tranquilo, why people tranquilo. like this call us hateful? No, um, no. Because these people no, are pedophiles. No. Hey! Uh, because hey! they're pushing filthy disgusting things that humans should never do and so their answer is you're hateful 
Oh, what's that? You did, you did a, uh, there was a visit to Epstein. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my God, bro. He put the island in there. Oh man. Oh, you're just being hateful. You're being hateful. No, we're hateful. just saying that there's some things that are right and there's some things that are hateful. wrong. Hateful. And you can't, uh, uh, you can't celebrate everything. That's what these people don't understand. It's like, oh, we want to celebrate every everybody. Oh, do you want to do you want to celebrate these people yeah! on screen here? Do you want to celebrate this? So whoa, whoa, just, let's whoa. just admit that time, we're not celebrating time. everything. You have to, time. as people often say, a game made for everybody is a game made for nobody. Mm. Um, but guys, it gets much facts, worse. Facts, facts. Um, uh, um, Mark Alexis Cotier also said, and, and, yeah, and by the way, if I didn't make it clear, this guy is in charge of Assassin's Creed. That's what's so scary. <clears throat> Assassin's Creed executive producer Mark Alexis Cote. Video games can change the world by changing people. Damn. Yeah, they just like really this. Wanna, Let's... We wanna be progressive. You gotta be strong. You gotta be independent. Strong, 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 independent. Look at Yasuke. Yasuke is a strong, strong BBC samurai. GBBC, it's not even like normal. They always wanna do that. They always, they, just cause he black, they wanna make him gay, right? You know what I'm saying? So just because of that, yeah, bro, it's crazy. They, they want to change people. It's very, very uh, apparent. They always do that. Why? Why y'all so, so infatuated with that? Just make a normal person in the game, man. Just make normal games. Just make good games, bro. Just make good games. Simple. Why do you want, like, women to be men and men to be women? Why? Like, bro, just make it normal. Just make it normal, bro. What the hell? Let's change the world by changing people by let's chop kids' dick off and let's transition your body parts and let's uh let's go into elementary schools and uh teach kids about homosexuality that's what we should do um the homie john f trent here by the way uh guys fandom pulse is an amazing website um they're pretty much uh, that park place and fandom pulse are kind of the only people that are that are posting these like real real articles that are actually talking about this junk uh but mm -hmm. let's let's read another <laughs> okay so this is kind of getting into the development of assassin's creed shadows um Somebody went through a big uh, video that this guy did at a, like a lecture he was giving, and Mark Alexis actually talked about the development of Assassin's Creed Shadows and what's going on, and he said this. One of the things that I've noticed since the pandemic is that we have a lot of juniors in our teams. Probably half the team that's building Assassin's Creed is building a game for the first time. <laughs> Bro, is that good? Like... Uh, Y'all, this game, uh, as you did, you probably oh, saw man. on the thumbnail of the, of the video, oh, this man. game is going to be bad. <laughs> But guys, it gets it keeps getting worse. I mean, um, I mean, we can kind of tell, you know what I'm saying? We, we know something ain't right. Something ain't right. Something ain't right, right? It does not feel like this game is being made by talented devs, right? So uh, it makes sense when you come out and, and say this game is being made by junior devs. Eh? <laughs> oh, man, like he went crazy right there. Holy <laughs> crap. What the hell? Yasuke, chill, brother. Chill. Tranquilo, papi. Yo, tranquilo, homie. Tranquilo, man. Tranquilo Holmes, yeah, so it, we, we can tell, we, <laughs> we can tell, man, what the hell, bro, what the hell? And it makes sense that they had junior developers working on this game because there's no way you can scale a building in this armor right here. Yeah. <laughs> this would be the worst, you think of like classic Assassin's Creed games, you're light on your feet, you're an assassin, you're quiet. Bro, how much no noise is bro going to make when he's, when he's going around in this? Um, but let's let's read another um, insane quote that he talk, said about the uh, development of his own game. Mark said, even though they're playing the game right now and they think it's the worst thing they've ever seen, <laughs> it's going to be good. Um, so, yeah, in, in case you didn't get the full context. Oh my, of oh, my goodness. Even though they're playing the game right now and they think it's the worst thing they've ever seen, it's going to be good. Cap! Cap! He, brother is Delulu, man. He Delulu. The, um... He of what he's talking about. He's talking about his developers, and his developers are telling him that this is the worst thing they've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and us gamers, we would agree as well. Mark, when we saw your game and we looked at your ideas for an Assassin's Creed Shadows game, uh, and why you would ram your woke politics into a video game, uh, we similarly said this is the worst thing we've ever seen. But guys, it gets much wor worse. Game Imagine, like, you coming out and saying that it's the... it's. <sighs> It's our junior devs working on it, and those junior devs are saying, bro, it, it's like the worst thing we've ever seen. Like... <laughs> Yo, how do you expect... Then, how do you expect gamers to buy this crap? What the actual hell? Even the devs now saying that it's the worst thing ever, and it's no longer a rumor because the higher up, I guess that he's like the the manager, or I don't know like, what his credentials are, but the guy is like the the higher up, right? 
and he's saying the devs are saying that it's the worst thing they've ever seen and he's like yeah man even if you think it's the worst game ever it's still gonna be so good it's still gonna be so good yeah no no diddy no diddy is it gonna be really good what the ranks is reporting assassin's creed shadows will apparently have aggressive microtransactions plan via battle pass uh, guys it gets worse and worse and worse oh and and by the way in case you actually take game rank seriously just notice that on the next page they were promoting this lesbian girl boss trash here for black ops 6. oh black ops 6 what a score like are you kidding me <clears throat> um and, and so yeah uh, people there was some uh, basically some data mining and people leaked um some of the uh, uh the cosmetics and the battle pass items that you were mm -hmm. able to get mm -hmm. on assassin's mm -hmm. creed um shadows when it when it comes out and you've got all of these different items here for battle pass one you've got something called battle helix pass. credit credit helix for the credit. secure okay. you weapons pack the secure you mount um all these things you, you can uh, if you google this you can find more information on it but it just looks like they have extensive battle pass plans um expect that there will be tons and tons of microtransactions in this game for guys sure, for as sure. if as if you couldn't hate this game anymore just know that it's going to have tons of microtransactions and then um finally they said ubisoft reportedly strikes down assassin's creed shadows and animus hub leaks as it's claims there will be a battle pass and bizarrely in-game partnership with visa and red bull <laughs> oh my God. Uh, all right so but you're playing how? your, your non-historical samurai game with a black guy as a diversity hire in a samurai game while you're drinking your red bull and you're hanging out with your gay friends and you're and you're using visa <laughs> uh this is this is truly a 2024 experience um um, another another uh, thing. This was a couple weeks ago, but I never reported. Oh no! Yeah, I remember this one. Monetization director at Ubisoft. He lashed out at gamers, uh, toxic gamers, gamers, to gamers, toxic gamers deserve to die. <laughs> he did not. He did not say that. But apparently, like that's that's kind of like what they're trying to say, right? Gamers deserve to die. Uh, 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 yeah, it came from a monetization director. I wouldn't be shocked if this battle pass in assassin's creed shadows of the bbc game was his idea like i would not be shocked quite frankly i would not be shocked put it on it was this guy uh, stevie chisard who's the monetization director at ubisoft i mean could there ever be a more hated um position than this but he said in light of the, the huge um backlash they were getting about assassin's creed shadows he said this what is even more revolting is coming on LinkedIn and seeing the same comments from people within the industry. On top of exposing yourself as a clearly non-decent human being, you are affecting thousands of employees that are already Im impacted by all the hate, despite doing their best to deliver incredible experiences. How can you wish a company to fail simply because they do not cater to you? Or incredible experiences. <laughs> So, so this is incredible experience. This right here. This this game is incredible experience. Delulu level over nine thousand, man. That the product does not please you is beyond me. But that's the definition. That's the definition of a product. And th and this is this is what's Bruh. so hilarious about this giant retard, Mark Alexis Cotier. But nobody nobody uh uh picks up a controller and says. Ooh, I want to celebrate the richness of our world and the magic of our collective imagination. Nobody- Damn, like, this really feels like a school project, right? Ima could you imagine, like, if this thing happened, like, uh, let's just say 20 years ago, some kid would probably be, probably be presenting this as a school project in class and it would be fine. But now if you do that, you're gonna be, like, expelled from the school. You're gonna be shut down, right? It it's crazy. It is crazy, but this feels like a school project. He, I, I like the style. I like the style. He like makes it as is, and then like he just zooms in on all the things that he put together. Crazy man, yo, Andy Penn's crazy lad, bro. Crazy guy. <laughs> Nobody picks up a controller and says, "Ooh, I can't wait to play my platform for entertainment, dialogue, discovery, yeah. and understanding tonight." Bruh. This is this Bruh. is what's fundamentally so stupid about Ubisoft is they seem to be smelling their own farts. They seem to be lost in their own farts, and they've forgotten why people play games to begin with yeah I, we play games to do something cool we play games to see cool shit to be a man to be masculine facts, to facts, see uh, attractive facts. women to see a great storyline to see great facts, gameplay facts. just because you're making a game doesn't mean we have to uh, uh, pat you on the back and celebrate mm. you mm. this is what these just, just like for example like stevie right like just like if he goes out and if, if you want to buy a car if the car comes without a steering wheel bro you're not gonna buy like simple as that <laughs> come on man like you're not gonna buy what the hell and could you imagine like to turn on heat in your car you have to pay 20 dollars per month 
as a subscription after you paid full price or if you finance it then that's different you're gonna pay over time but that's different right but could you imagine like buying your car and then having to buy like a battle pass for your car i just and then like telling your friends about it yeah man i bought a new car but heating was not included so therefore i bought a heating battle pass for my new car like, what, what are we talking about, bro? Like, y'all suckers are crazy as hell, bro. Y'all suckers are crazy, man. Damn, man. Damn, bro. Like, y'all suckers are Delulu AF, bro. Delulu AF. Like the kids would say nowadays. This is what these cucks and these art school students all think. They think, just to jump back to my example of, of a retarded child doing a, 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 a um, cutting some construction paper, they think that they're still back in art school, and they think that whatever you do, it needs to be celebrated. And guess what? In Trump's America, no. No, boo. We're not celebrating everything what? you do. Sometimes you make something and it's horrible and your company goes out of business. Ain't capitalism great? He said... How Sometimes when you do crap like that, your company goes out of business. Ooh, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. How can you wish a company to fail simply because they do not cater to you? That is the job of a company. That is mm. the job of a product. Facts. If you stop making what people want, and you stop giving people what they want, you will go out of business. And guys, Facts. I think Facts. Assassin's Creed Shadows is going to mark possibly the end of Assassin's Creed, or, or maybe they're just gonna go back to recent. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This recently just happened. We had a GTA 6 killer, a GTA 6 clone gameplay. They revealed it, and in some aspects it looks good, and you might've seen it, and you might've wondered, like, holy crap, when is this game coming out? There's a massive catch to that. Check out this video on the screen, and, it will, and you will see why.